And finally, I just wanted to talk, um, as I say, as a London cab driver, I actually thought London, you know, let's be honest, London, one of the major cities in the world, with many tourists, big business in London, many many companies with headquarters, they're, you know, world headquarters in London, you know, uh, just, you know, lots of restaurants, hotels, theatres, people want to come to London, lots of places to visit. I always used to think London would never be affected by a, vo- uh, sort of, um, a recession. I used to thought it would be bulletproof. You know, if there is a downturn, there'll always be tourists coming to London, lots of Arabs with money coming to London in the summer, especially in the July and August. There'll always be businessmen around. You know, there'll always be a, fl- a flow of people. Well, it wasn't a recession. It isn't a recession that's locked down London. London's quieter than any other part of the the um, of the UK. You know, UK. You know, the suburbs are busier than London. That's my experience two or three weeks ago. And having spoke to cab drivers, um, uh, London cab drivers over the last week, that's exactly what they've been telling me too. That London is a ghost town. They're calling it the polo effect, you know, in the middle, the city's empty, no business is going on, but there's a little bit of movement in the suburbs and on the outskirts of London. And as I say, I never thought London would be affected by a recession, but it isn't a recession, it's a lockdown. A lockdown, as I say, was it worth it? I'm not sure, was it worth it? I'm not callous, I'm not ca- I care about human beings. I'll go the other way, I care about human beings, I care about the long term, the long term uh, future of human beings and people's health. So anyone says, you know, you're a callous kid, you don't care about COVID-19, I care about it, but I care about the long term. What's the long term look like? What's the long term solution? Do they want us to have a vaccine? Do they want us to keep wearing masks? You know, as I say, got two nostrils and a mouth to breathe, to take oxygen in, and to then to blow ox- uh, carbon dioxide out. Waste. I don't need it in my body. All I'm doing is blowing it against a barrier and breathing it back in again. Is that healthy? So as I say, I used to think London would be immune from a recession, but it wasn't a recession that was immune from a virus has locked it down. I'm down a rabbit hole, I ain't going to lie. I'm down a rabbit hole. I've looked, I've watched many things. I've looked at the link between the Vatican City, the City of London, Washington DC. I've been watching, watching lots to do with Hollywood and the elite and the Clintons and the Obamas. And I've been watching this stuff for years and it all makes sense. That's what I see as the distraction, a distraction going on somewhere. Why they've locked us down, I don't know. I can't answer that. Maybe big things are happening all over this. Maybe with regards to the city of London, the financial arm, where the most m- most corrupt money comes in and out of any major city in the world, London, city of London. Maybe they've locked it down for a reason. Maybe they're protecting something. Maybe they're protecting themselves. Maybe they're protecting those workers that have been up to no good for years. Anyway, as I say, Never thought London would uh, see a recession. You know, if there was a recession, London always holds it own a little bit. But this lockdown, pandemic, pandemic, scandemic, whatever you want to call it. As I say, I'm not quite sure what it is, but I definitely think it's a distraction. And uh, yeah, I'm signing out. That's enough for me today.